What does a suicide dream mean? It is upsetting to see yourself attempt suicide in your dreams. You wake up very frightened and don't know what to think. You have to look beyond the terrifying thoughts to get to the meaning. Suicide is a taboo subject which will make it difficult for you to try to make sense of it. Suicide generally indicates that you need to make a sober change in your life. The dream is not something that will come true, so you need to relax. Your mind is only making a big deal of it to show you how deep the need to find a new direction is. This way, it has your full attention. In the East, death is seen as the beginning of another life. It is different in Western culture, where it is seen as final. Does a suicide dream say you hate your life? It does not mean that you hate your life. Your whole life is not out of control, just a part of it. This is different from the case of suicide. By the time one gets to that point, he has already decided that he is of no more use to the world. He feels broken and overwhelmed. This is not what is happening to you. You're trying to reach some goals, and it isn't working as you had hoped. You have not given up, unlike the case of the person in danger of killing himself. You need to accept that there are things that are not well with you instead of letting them fester. How is dreaming of suicide different from getting killed? There's a difference between taking your own life and being killed. Pay attention to how it happened, not the result, to make sense of this dream. Take the case where you died by your own hand. You probably pictured yourself slumped on the floor or hanging by the rope as you took your last breath. Your innermost mind is revealing that you have a hand in whatever happens. You are the captain of your life. You're dangling on the rope or bleeding from a wound caused by you. This picture may be horrifying, but it may be the jolt you need to regain control of your life. The power to change rests with you. Many people have given up on life. They have allowed themselves to be tossed around by circumstances. They have left themselves to be victims of chance. When asked, most people to describe their lives would say what has happened to them, forgetting to mention what they did to get where they are. It is as if they had no say in the event. They are used to being bystanders in their own lives. But you're different. You now know that your actions have brought you the results you now see. You may have done some things without thinking so many times that it became a habit. Maybe you surrendered to your feelings and let them choose how you behaved. Some things could have happened to you as a child. It does not mean you carry this load from your past forever. You're now grown up and can see clearly now. You're in charge. You will gain strength by choosing to face whatever life brings. You have to take up your place in the world. Your subconscious is telling you to overcome taboos. Taboos are common in every society. It keeps people from doing things that would harm themselves or the community. An example is a suicide, which brings a stain on the family. In close-knit villages, their neighbors may keep away from them. People will start talking in whispers when they see them. This hurts the family even more, as they are still in pain over losing their loved ones. The tight grip that taboo has on people is a picture of the thoughts keeping you in chains. Your mind is telling you to break free from it. You may have avoided doing something you want because you're terrified of what people would think. You like pleasing people, even at your own expense. This has to stop. You're slowing down your progress with these beliefs that you have found a home in your mind. You have to stop playing these harmful games with yourself. You're living a life that does not match your powers. If someone told you today that you could become a prominent person, you won't believe it. You have put up imaginary barriers to your dreams. What separates you from those who succeed is what you have chosen to accept about yourself. There is no single thing attempted by another human being that should be off limits to you. Keeping this in mind will allow you to do better and spot opportunities leading you to your dreams. Accepting your power and laying the ghosts from your will take you to places you've never been. Your mind may be telling you not to quit. Those who commit suicide go through a dark lonely moment. Many people wrongly believe that the dark period is prolonged and noticeable. That is not true. A person could be cheerful and pleasant to be with but suddenly give in to the pressure. Let me give you an example. I had a friend called Ken from a well-to-do family back in my college days. He had everything going for him. He was popular with everyone, including the girls. I must admit I was a bit jealous of him. Unfortunately, he had a problem with his dad, which affected him. One day he was found hanging in his room. When a friend of mine told me about it, I was heartbroken and confused. I struggled to understand why he did it. I later realized that he couldn't cope with strong feelings at that time. I still grieve him to this day. Your life may be painful and difficult. Whatever opportunity comes around, reach out and grab it. You never know if it will ever come back again. Accept yourself completely. Learn to forgive yourself because you're human. This is your only path to happiness. There is only one person that you have to live with. That person is you. 
you will never be perfect, so stop beating yourself about it.